Hey there, family. It is Tuesday. It's been rainy and gloomy here all day. And I'm looking as gloomy as I feel. So I have a question for you guys. I know this is going to sound kind of bizarre and kind of sound strange and stuff, but how many of you guys with Bartonella have a spotless house? Well, guys, it is the warmest day so far this year. It is going to be up into the 80s today here in New York, supposedly. And I don't have good news. I went for a mammogram last Friday. And they want me to go up to New Hartford, which is about a half an hour from here, to go get another one so the doctor can look at it better. Now, I went through this about five years ago, and I had to go have a sonogram and this and that. But, you know, it's so hard because it's like with this disease, we end up with these cysts and tumors all over the place. I mean, I have one up in here, right here to be exact. And the doctors don't seem to be too worried about it. I said that three years ago. And he's like, oh, go get a mammogram way up here, way up in here in my shoulder? What's that got to do with way down here? You know, <laughs> that's what the mammogram place said too, but... So it's like, I had my little meltdown, I did a little bit of crying, and then I was like, call my best friend, who's, who actually had both breasts removed, and she just said to me, she says, Sue, she goes, you've got Bartonella, you know, you're always saying how cysts and tumors could possibly be that, so, I hope so, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know, I'm stressed out, so, I gotta sneeze here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, I ended up catching a cold, what was it, Thursday, that I got got from my daughter, and I figure Bartonella is pretty good at tackling colds. I mean, I know we have autoimmune diseases and stuff like that, but I think that our bodies, the Bartonella and Lyme and stuff, are really good at fighting off colds and things like that because this cold lasted two days <laughs> and it was gone um, yeah but I did notice yesterday something that I wanted to bring up um, ears uh, you know um, my ear was vibrating now I have these different little quirky things where oh I don't know um, in my ears, once in a blue moon, it'll feel like there's bird feathers going blah, 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 blah. But this was different. It was, it was almost like a motor. It, it felt like a motor or something was going on in there. And I mean, I do have tinnitus, you know. Who doesn't with this disease, right? And, uh, anyway, yeah, I thought that was really bizarre. And of course, I always have problems with my face on the right side. This was on the left side. My face almost felt like it was like buzzing so or vibrating I guess so I was gonna go back on and talk about here um, problems with your ears and stuff like that um, does anybody have like labyrinth titus or a slow running labyrinth um, one of the people on here had mentioned that in a private message uh, kind of like well, you know, how we're always dizzy and all that and stuff. Has anybody ever been tested for that? Because I'm kind of curious, you know, uh, if anybody's ever experienced that. I mean, I've experienced where I've had, like, crystal in my ear that got out of whack before when I had gotten water in my ear. And that was like, I rolled over one day in bed on my right side and the whole room spun. Um, it scared the living hell out of me. I thought I was having a stroke. Most people, when that happens to them, like, totally panic. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's about a week and a half since I first started doing this video. And um, it is morning. I have not been out of bed. So if you see my bed all in disarray and you see some pillows over there, it's because it's morning. So anyway, I wanted to touch base with um, itching. It seems like, I don't know. You know, I know it's a sign of MS, but 
Every once in a while, my whole body will start to itch. And it feels as if I've got a thousand little fleas on me. For whatever reason, I don't know. But I found that if I get into the tub and I take a bath, it seems to go away. Now, I've heard other people with MS or something say, or Lyme, well, it makes them itch more. Which, me, it does the exact opposite. It seems to soothe the nerve endings. And, I mean, it's just like itch all over, all at once. Now, just thinking about it, I'm itching, of course. You know, the thought of that. But, does anybody else experience the itching all over the place? Like, little bugs are crawling on you sometimes. Just curious to know. Another thing that I've noticed is, of course, the disease, this disease, um... It changes who you are. Like, for example, I mean, we weren't always, you know, some of us became ADD or ADHD afterwards. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's like we weren't like that prior. Another weird thing that I noticed about myself now is I tend to have like an addictive personality, so to speak. Meaning that... If all of a sudden I like, almost like a bipolar person, almost as if I uh, I like something, all of a sudden I'm into doing something. I will spend thousands of dollars on this whatever latest phase that I'm going through. Maybe it's collecting antiques or Fenton Glass is a prime example. Never liked it before growing up because I grew up in a family that dealt with the antiques. You know, that was their hobby. They had lots of money from it. Never liked anything antiques, was always into modern stuff, and then boom, all of a sudden complete overhaul, and we're talking about thousands of dollars that I spent, and then all of a sudden, I don't care, we won't use fat and glass for an example for that though, because if I see a piece of glass that I really, 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 really like, and it's a reasonable price, I will pick it up, but I don't go out to antique stores every week looking for it like I used to <laughs> and like maybe for one month I'll be into crocheting really big 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 and then I'll start a project never finish it and it goes off in a bin somewhere and I won't pick up a crochet needle for a year year and a half Eh, we'll say about a year maybe tops <laughs> but yeah does anybody else also have like those strange quirks about where at one time, you were one way, and then as you got more and more into the disease and it got more chronic, did your personalities change? Like, for example, when I was younger, I didn't, I wasn't very outspoken. Um, I can remember a time back when I was younger, my neighbor asked me, would you like a candy bar from the store? I'm like, sure, because, you know, I live next door to her. She goes, do you want licorice? And I'm like, Sure. I hated licorice. You know, I was never spoke my opinion, didn't want to offend anybody, but then, of course, this could be due to age. <laughs> Notice I always find positives and downsides to things that um, maybe just a little bit too outspoken. Like, I can remember being in the grocery store just a couple nights ago. And it is Wednesday. I was there on a Monday, and I'm walking through the store, and everything's sold out. So I had no problem looking at Roger and saying, you know, not too quietly, I guess. I mean, I didn't yell it, where I looked like somebody that was a lunatic. But I said, geez, nothing like coming in the store on a Monday. I guess we won't do this again. They seem to be out of everything. And he's like, why do you say something so sarcastic? I said, because it was on my mind. It's not like I'm insulting anybody particular, and I'm not saying it right at the checkout, but I would have no problem going through the checkout and saying, geez, I could see that Monday is not too good of a day to come. There's not too much on the shelves, and it needs some restocking. <laughs> I don't know. But I would say it with a nice smile. You know the story. I was taught by my boss years ago. You can always tell somebody to off. And... Uh, as long as you're wearing a smile, you can get away with it. So, yeah, my personality's kind of changed a little bit over the years. Anyway, I'm going to close this video here.
because I have been rambling and I have been really busy lately working on my son's graduation stuff and um, the whole nine yards. One other thing quick before I go because I see my hands flashing around. Take note that I haven't repolished them in a while and how short they are. I get these nails every so often. See how they're chipped? They start peeling in between and they separate in like layers. I don't know. Hormones, Lyme, Bartonella. It's really hard to really talk about Lyme disease, Bartonella, any kind of co-infection because, let's face it, everything can be pointed at Lyme and Bartonella and, and co-infections and obesity and all that, the whole slew of things. It just seems that it attacks your whole body. And that's why when I go on a lot of the Bartonella pages and stuff online, it's like people are asking, did you notice this? Did you notice that? Well, of course you're going to have that with this because it attacks everything in our bodies. Right? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope this is finding you well. For those of you that are celebrating Easter, I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter with your families or by yourself or whatever it is that you do on the holiday. Until the next video, when hopefully I have a little bit more to talk about and I look a little bit more presentable and care about what I look like, I shall bid you guys a farewell. I love you, and I will catch all of you soon.